Hello everybody! So today I am here with a home haul. So I told you guys recently that I've been working on redoing my filming room. So one of the first things that I really wanted to focus on was my background for you guys. I wanted to spice it up with some different kind of pillows and some different colors just to make the video background a little more interesting. And I just wanted to get some other little pieces for the room that would just kind of help me spice things up. So this is by no means the only things that I plan on getting for my filming room, but it's just like the very, very beginning. And I thought I hadn't done a kind of home good haul uh, since I left for college last year. So I thought that this would be a really fun video for you guys. You guys really liked that other one. So yeah, let's just get right into what I got. The first thing that I'm going to show you guys is actually something that's been in the background of my videos recently, and that is this yellow pillow. This pillow was from Pier One Imports, and I was in Pier One and I couldn't find any pillow that I liked. And then I found this one in a different color and I really wanted it in yellow and they happened to have it at a different store. So I drove like 10 miles just to get this one pillow. But yeah, I really liked the fact that it had the two sides so I could kind of pick whichever one felt more for me. I liked the tone of this yellow because it's a little bit brighter than most yellows that I see in pillows. One of the struggles of finding pillows for my background is that I wanted a very specific kind of color. I wanted very vivid colors that would really help to brighten up the mood of my videos and getting like a mustard colored yellow is not going to cut it. You needed like a bright yellow. So this one isn't as bright as it looks on the camera, but it does have a really nice kind of vivid color to it. This pillow was $20 and it was on 20% off I think. I think it came out to around $16 because all of their cabana pillows were on sale. This is actually like an outdoor indoor pillow. So yeah, I really like this and I haven't decided which side I like more in the videos. I think I've been switching it in my last couple of ones. You guys can tell me in the comments down below. So that's the first pillow that I got and its tags are still attached. Since Pier 1 didn't have all that many pillows that I liked, I had to make another stop. So I decided to go to Home Goods, where I had gone before and found nothing, but they changed their stock so regularly that this time I seriously hit the jackpot. So the first pillow that I got was actually one of the initial walk-in displays that they had, and they had this pillow here which actually isn't showing up as vividly on camera as it does in person. That's kind of sad. I mean, you guys can kind of see the color like closer to my head. It's a nice corally pink color and I just liked that it had stripes. I thought that it would contrast the other pillows in my background a little more because those are very printed. And this one's, although it's still printed, it's a little more of a simple print. And I liked getting this pink because again, finding a vivid pink is pretty hard in person just because people don't really want a vivid pink on the regular. So this one was a nice kind of color for me and I really liked it and hopefully it shows up nicer in the background than it does right next to me. And this one's also super big, like it doesn't even fit in the viewfinder but this one's really big. And this one was $25 at Home Goods. Now, because I already have yellow, I have pink, and then I have blue, and I have a blue with purple trim, I wanted to really finish out my color balancing and get a nice light green pillow. So this is the pillow that I found in Home Goods. Again, even bigger than the coral one. This one has a really funky print on it. It's almost like a little tree or something. I'm not really sure, like, it's like algae or something. I really don't know. This one though, I was drawn to it initially because of the color, because it did have that white in it. What I really like is colored pillows that have a good amount of white, so you're not getting overwhelmed by a really patterned pillow. You're getting a nice kind of balance, and it does have a nice solid green back, which is always nice in pillows. I don't know why, but it is to me. And this one was on clearance for $15. It was the only one that they had in the store. I don't know if you guys will be able to find this in a home goods near you. I'm sure you'll find the pink one if you go soon. But yeah, so I do like this one. It did have some minor flaws in the pillow, but because it was on clearance, I kind of felt like that was almost expected from home goods. Um, so yeah, I got that one and I really like it. It's super squishy and soft. That's the really nice thing about all these pillows is that they are really soft and they're not too expensive. 
Obviously $20 is a lot to spend for a pillow, but it's on the cheaper end of things. Because this is my filming room, I do have a lot of technology and a lot of things just kind of laying around that can get pretty messy. So I wanted to find a cute way to kind of store my cords and things like that that I have laying around. So I picked up two boxes that I found in their little storage area and these were really reasonably priced. I saw the blue one first and I really like the chevron print. I really like chevron for some reason because it's simple but it's a little bit different than just a plain stripe. And I was gonna get two of the blue ones but then I realized that I've really been liking the different kind of colors and having just an assortment of bright colors rather than just one which is what I've done in the past. So then I saw that they had the orange and they had two different prints of the orange but I liked the chevron more. It was a brighter pattern than the other one. Got these two in two different sizes. The blue one's bigger and the orange one is a little bit smaller. And I thought that these would be really good for holding little knickknacks and cords like I said. So in the smaller one I'm thinking that I'm actually going to be holding the cord for my mic and in the big one I'm not really sure yet but I'm sure they'll find something for it. If you guys need something that is really easy to use as storage or even like as a pen holder or something, these are really nice. They have a nice shallow um, cavity in them to hold stuff and they were only two or three dollars each. The small one was $1.99 and the big one was $2.99. And for the color and the pattern and just for what you're getting, I think that this is really good. They're nice sturdy boxes and they're just really pretty. And the last thing that I got at Home Goods was this picture frame. And I really liked a similar picture frame at Pier 1, which was a blue chevron printed one with the kind of uh, like pearlized tile kind of effect. So when I saw this one at Home Goods, I thought I can't pass up on this again. These are really cute and in style right now, really on trend, you see them everywhere basically. This one was $15. So I like this, it's a four by six frame, so it fits most pictures that I get printed. And I have a ton of photos from my trip to Paris and London recently, so I really wanted to pick up a couple of frames and just pick ones that I really liked so that way they add something to the room while still showing my photos. So I really liked this one and yeah, it's really pretty bright and the green is a really nice green. It's almost like an asparagus color green. Is that weird that I like the color of asparagus? Or like bright grass and like I like that it has all different kinds of tones of green in it. So that is it for this haul. I hope that you guys liked it. If you guys know where I can find other cute things for this room or something that you think that I would just like in general, then leave it in the comments down below because I do plan on buying some more. I think that my next home goods kind of stop is going to be Anthropology because they have so many cute little knickknacks. If you guys have any videos that you wanna see, leave it in the comments below. If you wanna see more of these kinds of videos, also leave that down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for my future videos, and I'll see you guys on Friday with my 50 videos of summer Friday video. Unless if it goes up on Saturday because I'm actually going to a really exciting thing on Friday, and so I may not be around to post it. So yeah, I'll see you guys then, bye. For those of you still here, make sure that you vote for which setup of the pillows you like the best for my background. Setup number one, setup number two, or setup number three. Leave it in the comments down below and then whichever one gets most votes, I will make my new background. I'll see you guys next time, bye.